It's so easy to feel close to God when it feels like His hands are wide open with blessings. Our favorite stories to tell are the ones where He has moved mountains for us or split the sea so that we can walk through it. It's a lot harder to tell stories about the things God takes away. Sometimes it can even feel like we're getting two different versions of God, and we don't know how to reconcile them. In the book of Job, we see a man who has lost everything, his property, his children, and all of his blessings. In the midst of grief and doubt, his family and friends try to convince him to turn his back on God. But Job responds with this truth, the Lord gave and the Lord has taken away. The thing is, Job knew something crucial that his family and friends, even us sometimes, forgot. All we have is only ours because God gave it to us in the first place. There is nothing we earned or worked hard enough for that God has torn away from us. He blessed us with it for a purpose in a certain season, and he can take it away to accomplish something else too. Job knew something more than that though. He knew that no matter what loss he faced, our God is the grand orchestrator that is always working things together for our good and His greater glory. Our reality is that we live in a fallen and broken world. In this life, hurt and grief and valleys are inevitable. Whether it's sickness or natural disasters or even death itself, all things birthed from the fact that we are no longer in the garden or pain that comes as a result of consequences from the decisions we make ourselves, God will not leave us there in those moments of defeat. He will turn around and use even the impossible moments to move us further towards goodness. It all has to pass through the fingertips of God before it can reach us. All the good and the bad. When the doors open and the blessings fall, God has purposed it. When loss greets us again, God has purposed that too. And the most beautiful part of all of it is that whenever God takes something away, it is usually so that He can make room in our lives for something else, Himself.